Hi, I'm T. Cooper. I'm a New York City makeup artist, hairstylist, and co-founder of beauty and grooming company Metro Look. Today we're going to talk about a question one of you recently asked, which was how to fix hairline after too tight ponytails. So fixing your hairline after wearing your ponytail too tight is a very common problem, especially with ethnic women, because our hair tends to be a little bit more susceptible to breakage. Now, if you wear your hair in a really tight ponytail, which looks awesome, I understand why people do it because it looks fantastic, but what it does is it pulls at the hair right around here, and what happens a lot of times is it will create bumps and eventually breakage. So there are several things that you can do. The first thing, stop doing that. Stop making really, really tight ponytails. Um, <laughs> if you don't want your hair to pull off and break out, loosen up your ponytails just try to do a nice loose ponytail and nowadays loose ponytails are a lot more modern you're seeing it more so on the red carpets and everything where it's just a little bit loose because you see i can still even put my finger up through there so you're not pulling at your scalp and the follicles because you know sometimes you can damage your hair follicles and the hair won't grow back that doesn't always happen but it can happen i've seen it so first thing is loosen up your ponytails second thing you can do is try to hide it what you can do if you have a little bit of bang or a little bit of fringe while you're trying to let your hairline grow back, you can like keep that over it. And if you still want to do a ponytail or wear your hair back, no one's going to see your hairline. Another thing you can do that I learned from a hairstylist myself is use mascara. You can use whatever color mascara your hair is. They have blonde mascara, they have brown mascara, they have black mascara. I haven't seen redhead mascara, but in that case you could actually even use eyeshadow. I've done that as well. So you would take the mascara and the areas around your hairline that are a little thin, you would just take the mascara, not terribly heavily, just, you know, like stroke it along. And it actually does hang on to the hairs that are there, like even if they're kind of sparse, and it does thicken it up. And what it does is it creates it so you can't really see the scalp going on. And what you can do to try to grow your hair back is you can use some good old fashioned argan oil. Um, I find that argan oil is great when you work it into your scalp stimulation for hair growth. Another thing that people use sometimes is castor oil. I prefer argan oil, but castor oil would be great as well. And what you do is just take the product, not too much, and just work it into your scalp, wherever your hair loss is, and just let it sit on there. You're not washing it out. You're gonna do this two to three times a week. And keep the stress off your hair. Try to keep a lot of heat off your hair. And if you do put heat on your hair, use a heat protectant like this one and spray it on first. And then your hairline will start to come back in no time. I'm T. Cooper, and thank you for watching. Bye.